Today we're going to talk about colors in CSS and this is a part of my CSS video series. Colors play a vital role in CSS and this is what makes CSS fun. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about the four ways to add colors to your project. Let's dive deep. Almost every single web page out there has colors and there are several ways or four ways to add colors to your website let's talk about the number one way to add color to your website the first method of adding colors to a website is using colors by their predefined names you can assign a color to a web page by using the name of the color something like red green or blue this may not make a lot of sense let me take you to the code editor and then demonstrate it visually so you understand how it works this is my code editor i created an html document called colors.html and inside my document, I have my bare bone structure of my HTML code. You can see opening and closing of body here. I created a CSS file called style.css. And these files are hooked. That means they are connected. Our intention is to give this page a background color. Okay. Let me take you to the web browser and I've opened that document here on my web browser. Right now, this web page is white and that's the default color the browser is giving to our web page. So let's apply color to our web page by using colors predefined names. Okay, so I'm going to use the number one way or the first method of adding colors to a web page by their names so i'll take you to the code editor and then we're going to target this body okay so i'll take you to css which is style.css and then i'll put my selector here so i'll put body and then i'm going to give my body a background color of red okay so this red here is a defined name css is given to us so you can enter red here and when you go to your web browser and then reload you can see this web page is red let's go back there and change our background color from red to green okay so I simply remove that red. enter this guys call green now when I take you to web browser and reload this page this page should change color which is green the same way I can change it from green to blue all I have to do is changing the name to blue The second way we can use to add colors to a web page is using the RGB values. Beneath here, we have a formula for RGB values. First, you define RGB and then the first value represents red, second is green and the last value is blue. R stands for red, the G stands for green, B stands for blue so if you're looking for red that means you need to increase the intensity of this value and it starts from 0 to 255 so if you want red you simply increase this value which is red to 255 and then give the rest zero values 
that means the whole of this will be classified as red if you want to give your web page green color the middle one represents green and that means the rest of them should be defined as zero or should be set to zero so red here will be zero blue will be what zero and the middle one which is green and this is where our focus is so you set that to 255 if you are looking to give your web page or any of your elements a blue color then red should be set to zero green should also be set to zero and then leave your blue which will be 255 so the values range from zero to 255 okay so with rgb it uses the color wheel this is a way of mixing colors two or more colors to get a different color okay so that's the whole method here okay it's all about mixing these colors to get a color all right let's go to our code editor and then demonstrate this because this may not make sense to you with my explanation it may not make sense to you or a lot of sense so we we'll go to our code editor and then we we'll take it from there okay so i'll simply take you to our code editor and then let's remove blue here and we are setting our background color to red okay because of that you put r g b open your brackets and inside here we are targeting red we want our background color to be red and so all you need to do is to add put 255 comma and then you put zero here comma and then another zero and you can see red pops up this is red because we have increased the intensity of red okay red's value good you can see red pops up i don't even need to send you to the web browser and show you good let's remove everything here we put zero here good so when you set everything to zero 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 you get a black color okay you get a black color so we're looking for green which is here rg so green we remove that middle zero and we put two five five and we get green and if you're looking for blue you do that you remove this one give this zero value and then go to where blue is which is here the b stands for blue and then you give it two five five and you should get blue value okay so that is it that's rgb values is the mixture of colors to get a different color okay so you can play around with it now there's a color picker here this even makes it very very easy so let's switch it to my favorite color which is aqua all right good with aqua you can see we have 0 238 and 255 the values will never exceed 255 okay so it's from zero all the way to 255 so that's rgb values so that's the second way of adding colors to a web page let's talk about the other way the third way of adding colors to a web page
Another way to apply color to a website is using hex, decimal, values, or colors. Below, we have a formula, hash character, RR, GG, and BB. The R stands for red, G for blue, sorry, green, and B stands for blue. Okay? Now, the lowest value is 0, 0, okay? And the highest value is FF. To get red, you set your red value, which is RR, to FF, and the rest will be set to 0, 0. To get green, you set your green value, which is in the middle, to FF, which is the highest value, and then you set the rest, red and then blue, you give them zero values. To get blue, you set the rest, red to zero, zero, you set green to zero, zero, and then you set B, which is blue, to FF. So it's the matter of placing FF to the part you want to apply the effect. So if you want green, the middle is green. So you simply put FF in the middle. If you want red, the beginning is red. So you put FF in the beginning. And if you want blue, the last or the ending is blue. So you set your value, which is FF, you send it to the ending part of your decimals. All right. So that is it. This <laughs> may not make sense. A lot of sense. So let's go to our web browser, our code editor, and then practice this kind of color application. So I'll take you to our code editor and then I'll remove my color and with the hex values first of all you need to put a hash character this way okay and now because we are looking for red you put ff after that you put zero zero and then you add another zero zero and this will be it to be called red and this is what we call hex decimals continue watching this video till the end because at the ending part i'm going to show you some resource that will help you with colors okay good now we want green so we simply put our ff in the middle and then set it to zero so remove everything and put zero zero here just like our RGB values, this works the same, okay? So when you put 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, you get black, all right? So to get green, your middle, change it to FF, and this will give you green. If you want blue, you set the ending to FF. FF and you get blue. My monitor has issues with colors, especially the blue color. So right now you are seeing this as black, but actually it's blue. Okay. I don't know if it's from the settings. Okay. So that is it. This is a blue color. Zero 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 FF is blue color, and this is what we call hexadecimals. Let's look at the final type of color application and after that i'll send you to the resource and i'll show you how that works and that's going to help you a lot when it comes to colors this is the fourth method of color application in web development especially front-end development because we are working with the front end 
we are front end developers okay good so the fourth method is called hsl values or hsl colors below here you can see a formula and this is a big formula you can see this long formula we're going to talk about it and i'll try my best to explain what this is good so the formula starts with hsl all in brackets so you open your brackets okay just like what we have beneath here open brackets now the h stands for hue of a color okay so this is the darkness or the lightness of a color okay and it ranges from 0 to 360 comma so you can have one okay you have zero one two three all the way to 350 60 as a color okay as a color hue now the next one is saturation of a color which is in percentages percentage starting from zero percent one percent all the way to hundred percent we have lightness of the color okay you can have blue example this is an example you have a blue and we have light blue okay so you can add lightness to a color you can have a red color and light red okay so this lightness of a color and that one too is in percentage from zero percent all the way to what hundred percent so now let's come down to look at something in real life okay to get red you simply put your hsl which we talked about here so hsl now you put zero here hundred percent and this zero is the hue of it hundred percent saturation you can also put hundred percent lightness okay you can put forty percent the percentage you put here will determine the lightness of the color next we have green the same formula hsl we have 124 as the hue we have saturation as hundreds we have 50 percent as the lightness you can have 30 percent it all depends on the color you want so this will help you get a specific color next up we have blue hsl and we have 249 for the hue and then we have 100 percent saturation and then 50 percent lightness all this is theory so let's go to our code editor and then put this into practice so we go there i'll take you to the code editor this is our code editor and we're going to apply color to our body if you have been following along we created a file called colors.html and then we're applying background color to our body but with the help of visual studio code when you apply color here it pops up so we don't need to go to the browser to see what is happening everything is displayed here for us to see visually so with our hsl you need to put hsl and then you open it put it in brackets this way open brackets open and close it now the first one we're going to be talking about is the hue which is going to be set to zero and you put your comma next we're going to talk about the saturation of a color which is going to be in percentage so the saturation we are setting it to 100 percent 100 percent saturation comma now we're going to put the lightness of this color in what we call percentage so we're going to give it 50 percent lightness so give it 50 percent and as you can see there's no need going to the web browser you can see that our color pops up and this is red okay so this is the fourth way of adding color 
in CSS. Next up, we're going to look at different color. So we can simply remove the hue and put a value here, something like 250, but make sure you don't exceed 360, okay? Because it's from zero to 360. And when you put that there, 250 as your hue and 100% saturation, you're getting this color, okay? Good. Next up, we're going to look at how to get green. Before that, let me take you to my edge here. And green, you need to set your hue to 124. So all you need to do is to change this to 124. So 124. And this is going to turn to what you call green. Okay. This is like an apple. Okay. Apple green. See that? So that is it. Now, you don't have to struggle with colors because the code editor will help you with your colors. There's a color picker here. You can simply slide to that particular color you need and then make use of it. So colors is not something you have to be struggling with. Okay. So if I need something like orange, I simply switch it to that part and it will automatically give me that numbers. So these numbers, no web, no developer has these numbers in his mind off head. We don't do that. So don't go ahead and write these numbers and put them somewhere to use in future. Don't do that. You can even make quick Google search about your colors and put them here. There's no need using this kind of colors. You can also give it a name, something like orange. Instead of having this big value, if only you want your code to be complex and you don't want class one developer to know what is happening, then you are allowed to give this complex code here as your color. But to me, I will put something like orange like this and I'm good to go. Okay. I can also make Google search to find out what this color is. I can also use the color picker. That's why we have color pickers. We have color pickers available online. You can use to get your colors. So colors is not something you have to be struggling with. When it comes to CSS, I hope the point is clear. Now, let me take you to a resource from W3 School that will help you with colors. Let's get there. But wait, if you like my video, consider subscribing. If you like what I'm putting out there, join me here. That way, anytime content like this is released, you are notified. I'm super excited right now. Let's get to the web browser and I'll show you what W3 School has for us in terms or when it comes to colors. You're welcome to W3 School's official link to colors. And this is a whole page for colors. Remember, we talked about using colors by their names. Here, you can see this is a color called tomato. We have orange dogger blue medium sea green you can see they're here so you can use these colors by their names and w3 school even has up to four pages dedicated to colors i will leave this link in the description of this video so you can exploit for yourself good and we have rgb values and when i take you there you can see we have rgb values here let me take you to the part that interests me the most. Perfect. Now, remember I told you with the RGB value, the highest number is 255. You can see here 255. You can't exceed 255. You can see. So when you set everything to 255, 255 and 255, you end up getting what we call white color. This is a color switcher. Okay. You can use it to play around with colors you can switch it to zero so when you set red to zero green to 255 and blue to zero you get green and we talked about this setting the middle one to 255 good let's say one red 
all you need to do is to send to switch it to 255 like this and then turn all of them off to zero zero okay likewise if you want blue you send blue to 255 and turn this one to zero and turn this one to zero like this and you get blue my screen has problems with the blue color so i don't know if you can see that okay but this is blue color good next let's go ahead and then talk about the hex colors okay so this is what we call the rgb values you can see it's here so any color you want you simply come here and then make use of this particular color feature copy this color throw it inside your project and you are good to go okay so let's say a client gives you project to work on and he's looking for specific colors you can come here and then all you need to do is to search for that particular color and then use this code as your color pertaining to your needs okay so let's proceed to hex colors now with hex colors we talked of the hash rrgg and bb you can see that with the highest value being ff and the lowest being zero zero okay this is the part that interests me the most and you can see you can always switch this to f that's the highest you can go f is the highest you can go okay you can change this to zero zero ten b 4b 6a all the way to f and ff is the last value good so when you set this to ff and then turn this off turn this one to off you get red color so this is what we call the hex colors mixing colors to get a color it's just like the color here good next up we're going to talk about the css hsl colors okay and here we talk of the hue the saturation and the lightness of color good so this is another one and i said the highest here is 360 so you can see 360 okay and then the saturation is in percentages you switch that and the lightness is in percentages so if you send this to zero percent it's going to be black color this to hundred percent and this to something like zero percent it's going to be black color so that is it go ahead and play with these colors and it's called a color switcher from w3 school it's a very very helpful resource you can make use of and this will help you but also know that with colors it's very very simple to get your colors okay so don't waste your time searching for or trying to memorize these colors okay we don't do that it will be very difficult to memorize these colors don't do that use your time for important things so with colors don't guess don't worry about colors okay so i hope this lecture has been very very informative i'll see you in my next episode where we're talking about a lot of css stuff see you there